Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Fian Darling and my name is Miss Alfie and for today's book, I will read a series of newsborn illustrated from around the world uh, For the next video, I will read for chapter per chapter and I hope you like for this book because I really like this book, okay? Let's start to read together friends back with me this is with the story Osborne illustrated stories from around the world chapter number one the bobab tree a story from Africa retold by Louis Stowell illustrated by Laurie Fournier the bobab tree a long, long time ago, the God made the world. They made the land and the sea. They made the animals and plants. One day, they even made a talking tree. Hello, said the tree. At first, they were delighted with it. They watered it with shower of rains. They send the sun to warm its leaves and they call it the Bobob tree. Bay, oh, Bob, said the gods. The Bobob tree talk and talk and talk, but it didn't talk about the gentle rain or the shining sun. Instead, the bobab tree moaned and groaned all day long, and all night too. I don't like the soil. When the weather was hot, the bobab tree wasn't happy. Oh, it's too hot! When the gods sent cool breezes, it complained about those. <sighs> I'm cold. The bobab tree could always find something to be unhappy about. I'm thirsty. And it wouldn't let the gods get on with their work in peace. When they grew a forest of thick, tall trees, the boba really complained. Why can't I be taller? Not fair, it whined. I want to be taller. Make me taller. The bobab tree winked and moaned so much. The gods were in despair. Still, they got on with their job. Next, they made all kinds of pretty trees. Some had soft pink blossoms. Others had bright red flowers. The bobab tree didn't like it. They didn't like those at all. Why did you make me so plain and green? It yelled up to the gods. By now, the gods were very furious. We never should make that tree, they muttered to themselves. So they flew down to see the bobab tree. Stop moaning or else, they warned. Why should I? You can't make me. The gods sighed and went back to work, making wonderful fruit trees that grew juicy ripe fruit. I want fruit below the bobob tree. Can't you hear me? I demand to have some fruit. Stop, cried the gods. We can't bear it anymore. Stop talking. We'll make you stop. They grabbed the bobab tree and turned it upside down. Then they made a hole and thrust the tree into the ground. They had first. The bobab tree was completely silent for the first time in its life. Ah, beast at last. Its mouth was so full of earth, it couldn't make a sound. No one has ever heard the bobob tree say another word. 
This is probably a good thing for everyone. The end. I hope you like the story from the Osborne Illustrated Story from around the world. I'll see you in the next video with the next chapter. Bye bye. That's it for today's book. So I hope you like it the video because I really like this book. So I'll see you in the next chapter. If you like the video and you like the story, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe and hit that ring button, uh, the ring bell for the notification every time I post a new video. Okay, thank you, friends. Bye bye.